In this video we're going to explore how to use the dimensioning tool and then edit the actual text of the dimension. So in this example here you can see I've got two points that I want to dimension but I do have a break here in my pipe so these two points when I do use the dimensioning tool go from this point to this point that value there is not the real world value because of this break here so how do I make it the real world value well if I use the edit text tool just go to my text toolbox go to the edit text select the dimension text text editor window appears you'll notice that there's an asterisk there that asterisk represents the actual real value of that dimension if I override that just backspace over it type in 100 feet space dash let's say six inches and then do a data in my drawing to accept that there it is now I've overridden it it's still a dimension I didn't have to drop it or do anything else to it so if those points move the dimension will adjust automatically now you can go back using the edit dimension tool if you want to and replace the asterisk if I put the asterisk back in the actual value returns you can also do variations for example if I wanted to add to that leaving the asterisk there I could just put in TYP for typical and you can see the actual value and something in there that I've appended it with typical so there's some ways to work with text in the dimension without having to drop your dimensions. Never want to do that if you can avoid it. 